So, Danny Dawson, Professor, what was it, Charles Daniel Dawson? What's your, what's your, where, where does all that stuff come from? Where are you from, anyway? Oh, Charles Daniel Dawson? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? Okay. But I know where the Daniel comes from. It comes from my great-grandfather, mm. Daniel Emmanuel Weisman. Really? He oh. was uh, born in St. Croix, but I think he grew up in Brooklyn, but he started the first black Lutheran church in the United States. Really? Yeah, and in the early 1800s, or in the mid-1800s, he got his doctorate in theology from Howard. Uh-huh. Where, where, where did he start the church at? In Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. He was in the person who lived in D.C. Yeah, um, I don't want to get into your history right now. I just want to. I, I want to really start in, in this in this vein. Um, I know you more or less. I would say, uh, let's call it in the for cosmology. Uh, that's right. that. So let's deal with cosmology and be, because, uh, in fact, let me start with the American Indians. Mm -hmm. uh, as you you know, Red Cloud, and mm -hmm. uh, he, he it seems like you know he's a great uh, warrior for only only dude that beat up on the uh, U.S. Army. Blah blah blah. He was a great diplomat, whatever have you. But word uh, the legend has it or the word has it that he went to Washington D.C. When he came back to the Sioux Indians, he said, "Look, these guys got the stuff." Don't do anything. Don't worry. It'll all come eventually. We will win. In other words, don't put yourself yeah. out there in, in any fashion that that's going to annihilate everybody because you don't have the firepower. Tell me about that kind of kind of thing. Do you see that um, with with, uh, with? I see it more as a hope. You know, I don't know. You know, because um, evil does continue. The United States will continue. I think for a while. But you you are watching it in the in the throes of their um, the decline of their empire. Mm -hmm. You're watching that happen. Right know? now. Right now, right now. Mm -hmm. You know, you're watching them constantly try to rape the planet as they destroy the planet. You know, they're still, they haven't given up raping it, you know. So even though they know this this style, I, mean, I, I was just with a, a Yoruba woman and she wanted to ask me, she, well, she asked me, you know, I did a lecture on, on African culture in the Americas. And she said, why is this important? You know, I said, well, this is an antidote to Western civilization, so-called civilization. You know, that if you think that this, um, the kind of norm that we inherited from the West is proper, you know, this is that antidote for that. Because this very norm that we've inherited is destroying the planet. If you don't look at how we live now and see when, when you emulate the West, you have all these third world countries, all they want to do is act like the United States. Mm. That very style has destroyed the planet. Mm. Why are we racing to, to you know, emulate it? Why are we racing to do it? You know, there's a certain amount of um, comfort in it, but there's a certain kind of um, intelligence where if you look at it, you realize it's unsustainable. You can't, you can't sustain the planet with this kind of behavior. And that's what we're already involved in that, you know, so. If, if Red Cloud meant that, um, well, uh, they're eventually going to self-destruct, yeah, but they're taking too, too long and they're going to try to take the planet with them as they do it. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, this is kind of really interesting because, I mean, as you, as you know, I, I'm, I'm in South Africa and I'm actually doing right. this, some postgraduate work there. But one of the things, in fact, I did a posting on this. One of the things I like, I talk about uh, lineage. Mm -hmm. you know, some people talk about legacy. To legacy to me is just is immediate. But lineage is holding you all the way back. And, and I insist, for me personally, that... My lineage is it has to be a reason why why we came from the came from Africa, went through this middle passage, came here in what they call the belly of the beast, and then what's our obligation? I know Dr. Ben or Dr. Clark really talked about that kind of stuff, but I insist that I'm a spy, that I'm here to go back to South, to, well, to go back right. to Africa, and no matter what those guys say, I said, let, let me explain something to you guys. You are I, have, if I have information for you, and you will listen to me, because you, do what you're doing now, you're going down the wrong road. Are, is that is that a correct thing? No, I don't say correct, but is that, well, that's what I'm doing, doesn't matter if it's correct or not, but are there other people that think like that? Have you met people that like that? What, 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 the, whole, what yeah, they, yeah, the whole idea of um, having insights into this civilization and demystifying it. Is, 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 is normal. But it's also, you know, whether you have a, a voice, and very the fact that you're from here gives you voice over the rest of the planet, too, you know, which is kind of interesting. But um, I think it's your obligation, you know, to, to describe this, uh, this type of uh, behavior as a failure, 
It's a failure on the planet and it's a failure for the planet. And when the more you emulate it, the more you're hawking the destruction of the planet, you know. At least the destruction of humans on the planet. The planet will go on. The planet doesn't need us. Mm. That's what's when Bajin and our friend in Brazil said one day, you know, look, um, uh, the planet doesn't need us. We need the planet. You know, so our behavior is not based on, on you know, the planet needing us. It's based on the, we needing the planet, you know. So, but, but uh, that had caught on to people in Western civilization that their method is destroying the planet and the more they keep to it, the more they're going to, the faster they're going to destroy the planet, you know, as we know it. Mm -hmm. Well, there's, I guess what, what I'm also talking about is that I think it's almost my obligation to try to um, create, I guess, a, a critical mass. Something like, mm -hmm. no, well, I can't, of course I can't do it myself. Who am I? Whatever, have it. That's what I'm asking about other people like that. Do you see, do you see on the planet, because you travel a lot. Tell me where you've traveled to. I guess well, no, tell, uh, is there a critical, are there other people that's doing no, this? No, there are a lot of people on the planet who think like that too. My problem is I don't think we've reached the, the um, kind of tipping point yet. But we're, we're forced into that. It's not, it's not going to be a choice. The, the, the very climate change that people keep denying the fact that the southwest in the United States is going to be uninhabitable because the temperatures are going to be so high. They've had like 110 degrees temperature for what, last week or something in the southwest. Mm -hmm. You know? But who can live in that? You can't live in that. That's going to change people. Well, same thing happened in Australia, too. They're having, you know, so it's... No, all over the planet, is that, you know? So you can you can um, you uh, you can deny it, but after a while it just becomes foolish to even deny it, you know. So, but there's certain people that have known this. Or I remember when I had my little incident with the sea, and I had I was recuperating in 2002 mm -hmm. in, in in Silver Spring, Maryland, and I was with the sister. And she had she just got a computer, and so we was messing around on a computer, and she she looked up this thing about the, how the planet is going to look in whatever amount of years, and it predicted all of those floods, or like Florida was gone. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is like Lake Okeechobee just reclaimed Florida, you know, like yeah, that. Also, but some oh, saying that this has been known for a long Lord, time. New York is gone. Lower Manhattan yeah. is gone. That's all landfill. But 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 if we if we know if this is known or has been known, again, how do you get how do you get this across? Uh, you deal in culture. Do do we use yeah. culture to get it across? Well, it depends on, that's also about power. It's also about political power, the power to control the media. For example, when after the World Trade Center. You know, uh, what's the woman, uh, Whitman, Christine yeah, Whitman? Yeah, talk Christine Whitman, yeah. Yeah, she, she got on the, oh, on the airwaves and said it's perfectly safe down here. It was totally unbreathable. Oh, no, I was down, I was working with Democracy Now, and it was, they were spraying that, that street like three, four times a day to try right. to get that dust down, yeah. Yeah, so even if they sprayed it, what difference did it make? You yeah. Know? But you yeah, have to even breathe the, it. the even fire smoldering for weeks. Yeah, you know. information did come out. I know Wang Gandalf did a whole series yeah. on that about you know the toxicity. But I, I guess and when, all the police and firemen died. Yeah, yeah, they died. You know, now. That's all, all the evidence you need. You know? yeah, and they don't even talk about the the, the real workers, the, the those sanitation workers, and, and right. the, 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 but let's forget, forget, not forget that. But I'm trying to get something else from you as mm -hmm. far as uh, let's stay list list. Stay with the cosmology for a okay. bit. The spirituality will that? I don't want to save us. Save us. How will that deal? How 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 should we deal with that? Because you deal with a lot of different um, uh, modalities of, of of spirituality, right? And whatever. So, can you give me some flavor? Well, I think um, all of this is again. I'm talking about as an antidote to the standard Western model. The Western mechanistic model is you know like because uh, it's so materialist. It's just it talks about the planet as resources. It doesn't talk about the planet as living. It doesn't talk about our experience as living. You know, all these other um, traditions in the planet talk about that. All these other traditions, particularly African ones and ones from India, talk about the earth as living, you know, and how do we treat it, how do we respect it, and, and the tradition of the Native American too. You know, but I think it's not even choice anymore. We're forced back into that. Mm. We're forced because the circumstances are going to be so dire. I can't tell you, boy, I'm glad I don't have any children. What have, what have I left them? What, what, what have we left, you know, kids in this planet? Now, they know it, too. Mm. You know, they, they know that, that we've, we've left them unsustainable life and, a, and a, a, you know, a way of life that's destructive for everything, you know, around it, you know, so. It's not lost in them, you know. It's, it's, only, it's lost on it us, you know, so. You know, so they, but the kids know that you know um, they can't live like their, their grandparents did. You know, now they don't want to. You know, 
it's too dangerous. But the, the other religious traditions, other spiritual traditions, uh, prepare you for understanding that. And it's not just dooms, it's just that, well, this is the natural outcome of that kind of indulgence that went on in the West, the constantly raping of the planet just for resources. Yeah. You know, so that's the outcome of it. Maybe we'll stop it. Maybe that's no longer going to be an option, you know. It's like, I mean, I can think about people who always like to rave about technology. I said, yeah, technology is nothing, you know, without a kind of spiritual base. Because you know, why would you create plutonium? Why would you create a poison you can't get rid of? What kind of insanity is that? You know, you, and, and not to recognize it. You know, keep, keep talking about nuclear energy as though it solves something. It's, and it's a greater problem or it's a greater mistake than it is any kind of res resolution of a problem. You know, it's, and it, what are you going to do with plutonium? It, it, it has a, um, uh, a, what, a million year life for some of that? Like so, yeah, sure. what, you know, what do you do with that? Why do you create it in the first place? You know? What is the emptiness in you that makes you think that that's okay to do? You know? Yeah. Well, it's even, a, even plastic is a minor level of that. Mm -hmm. Why do you create plastic? You know, it's convenient for a minute, but look at what it, it doesn't decompose, it destroys the poison everywhere you put it. You know, so. Well, on that same level, I, I guess I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep on uh, beating on this horse here. I'm trying. I guess I'm trying to find a, a spiritual modality or uh -huh. a group of modalities that can actually address that. Why aren't these modalities stronger than um, than, than 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 this philosophy? Let's put it at this. Well, because you're looking, philosophy. you're also you're looking at the kind of death throes of Western civilization. You're looking at them fighting to maintain their way. In, in the face of all the evidence that their way is destructive and crazy. But they they won't do it, you're going to have to force them to stop doing it, you know. But the planet is going to force them to stop doing it, they don't have a choice. And right now they're, they're, they're um, kind of um, uh, gathering all their forces together to uh, defend this, you know. Because, you, you know, you, even when you hear people like Obama talk, they will never get to the point where they say, well, we have to stop the way we're living. You know, there will only be, well, some stopgap method, so you know, well, okay, if we stop emissions, we'll cut down, you know, global warming. You know, it might be already too late to cut down global warming, you know, so, you know, you can't cut down global warming in San Francisco, I mean, not San Francisco, in uh, Colorado and um, uh, Arizona and New Mexico. You know, you can't, it's already too late, you know, mm -hmm. there, and there's no water. What do you do with, with that? Mm -hmm. And places that have water have floods, places that don't have water have droughts, you know, so.